Hello everyone, my name is Jojo. Welcome to my channel Joyroot Jojo. Today in this video, we learn how to enable an RQ mailbox. Enabling an RQ mailbox is very simple task. Anybody can do that. But before doing that, we will learn why we require to enable the RQ mailbox. What are the advantages we get when we enable the RQ mailbox? And at the same time, what license you require to get an RQ mailbox? All these scenarios we will discuss in this particular video. Along with that, I shall share you how to enable RQ mailbox through PowerShell for the end year tenant and how to disable it in for the for the all uses through PowerShell. So all these I shall share in this video. All right. So first thing first, what is the advantages? Why we required? Why we have to enable RQ mailbox in Microsoft 365? The first advantage is nothing but creation of RQ mailbox. When you enable an RQ mailbox in Microsoft 365, several things happen to help manage, store your emails more efficiently. The first advantage is nothing but creation of RQ mailbox. A separate mailbox known as RQ mailbox is created and associated with your user's primary mailbox. So along with your primary mailbox, you get a separate mailbox known as RQ mailbox and you can store your older data or your RQ mails into that particular separate mailbox. So that is the first advantage just uh, create creation of an RQ mailbox and the second advantage is nothing but additional storage. This RQ mailbox provides additional storage space. For example, if you are having 100 GB mailbox in your primary storage uh, mailbox, then you get some additional space for with your RQ mailbox, which can be particularly useful for the uses with a large volume of emails. For most enterprise plan, this space is unlimited and can expand automatically as needed. From the uh, Microsoft official website, it's, it says that space is unlimited for the RQ mailbox, but in the real life scenario, I have seen uh, you won't get unlimited um, space for your RQ mailbox. Uh, in some scenario, you get 100 GB. And when you need more space, you will have to raise a ticket with Microsoft and you have to give justification why you want to uh, increase the space. Uh, if the justification is acceptable to them, only then they provide uh, more storage space. So, uh, but still in the official Microsoft pages, they say they provide with the enterprise plans, they provide unlimited storage space. And the third thing is that archiving policies. Default archiving policies are applied, which automatically move all the emails from primary mailbox to RQ mailbox. For example, if you want to move all your older data, uh, older data than six months, six month older data to some other folder to the RQ mailbox, you can write a policy uh, and you can create a default policy and you can move those uh, mails older than six months to the RQ folder. That is the other third advantages of having RQ mailbox. And the fourth one is user access. User can access their RQ mailbox through Outlook, Outlook on the web, just like their primary mailbox. This is uh, really uh, an amazing option which Microsoft 365 provides us. Just like our primary mailbox, you can view your RQ mailbox. So uh, that, that's very helpful for the for the end users. And compliance and retention, the RQ mailbox help organization comply with the data retention policies by ensuring that emails are preserved according to the organization requirements. So uh, it helps for that. Search and e-discovery, both the primary and RQ mailbox are searchable. So, for example, if you are searching for some particular mail, uh, it search in your primary mailbox and at the same time in your um, RQ mailbox. So, these are the advantages of having RQ mailbox. Now, we'll see the official uh, Microsoft page where it says how to enable RQ mailbox. I can show you practically how to enable mailbox for one user and for the entire user for all uses through PowerShell command for the complete tenant. Before doing that, we just see what license you require to enable or exchange online archiving plans. So with, with all these licenses, you will have to 
uh, you get RQ mailbox as an add-on. For example, for Office 365 E1, A1, Office 365 G1, Office 365 F3, Microsoft 365 F3, Exchange Online Plan 1. And with all these licenses, you will have to additionally purchase as an add-on uh, for this Exchange Online Archiving. But if you are, if you have Microsoft 365 E3, Microsoft 365 E5. Office 365 A3, F5, Office 365 E3, E5. With all these licenses, it is part of the license. You do not have to purchase it separately. It is already included archiving. Don't require exchange online, online archiving as an add-on. So with all these licenses, you get uh, archive mailbox in your um, RQ mailbox for your mailbox. All right. So let's see how we can enable RQ mailbox. It is very simple. For one user, we will just see it. Let us go to the Exchange Admin Center. I have already logged into the Exchange Admin Center. Okay. So let me select any of the user. I'm selecting the first user, Abir. So here, uh, after selecting the user, you could see General Organization, Delegation, Mailbox and others click on others here you could see mailbox archiving you can go to go here and manage mailbox archive you can enable it so automatically it may take some time and get enabled and here itself you can disable the archive mailbox so this way you can enable and disable the archive mailbox from the exchange admin center now when it comes to for the complete tenant this is the command to enable RQ mailbox for the complete tenant. Uh, first, we'll have to connect Exchange Only. For that, there is a command connect hyphen exchange. Spelling is wrong. Exchange Online. So it asks for the uh, global admin privileges. It asks for the authentication. So now we are connected to Exchange Online. I have already run this command. I have already run this command to enable RQ mailbox and automatically I could enable all the uh, mailboxes. I could enable uh, archiving and all mailboxes. Let me run it again. Let me see what uh, it shows. Uh, it is throwing me error because I have already enabled it. So I have run this command just before. And uh, you could see for all the mailboxes, it is already enabled. Right, this is this way you can enable RQ mailbox. Now let's see when you enable RQ mailbox, what changes happening in the end user mailbox. So I have logged into one particular user, and here you could see in place RQ mailbox. So this is this will start appearing in the mailbox when you enable archiving from the Microsoft 365 admin center. And you can create new folder here. For example, uh, I'm just creating six month older mails. Instead of that, I'll keep mail hyphen 2023. So all the mail uh, in the year 2023 will should move to the move here. So what I can do either I can click here and click on move, and I can move to uh, in place RQ, RQ mailbox and here I can select that particular folder mail 2023 so what happened that mail has moved to a mail 20 in the RQ folder even if I search it here I can see this mail uh, it comes in the searching and I can create some policies to uh, move the older mails to uh, this particular folder and all so everything is possible so this is the uh, this will be the end user experience when we enable RQ mailbox. So thanks for watching this video. We'll meet you in the other video. Till then, goodbye.